Our crop of the day today is this beautiful big brecher. It's got lots of angular fragments in here and a dark grey matrix and lots of that nice chocolate brown and yellow staining on here to tell you that there's probably plenty of pyrite in the matrix. So you might think that that's an easy hydrothermal brecher, but it probably isn't. Almost all of the fragments in this brecher have this flow banding texture and they're all rhyolitic in composition. And that kind of brecher usually forms on the margin of expanding flow domes where the rhyolite cools at the surface and then gets broken up by the movement of the dome and you end up with a monomict brecher with all the same kind of flow banded fragments, sometimes spherolytic. Here's a really big fragment of spherolytic rhyolite. That's a really common thing in these flow dome complexes. And you can see the spherules here beautifully outlined by silica alteration and the little bit of clay altered centre has been stripped out by weathering. And in fact, just up the top of this hill here, there's a large area of flow banded rhyolite with flow bands in all kinds of different orientations, but particularly with steep dips. And that tells me that we're probably in the middle of a flow dome and this breccia around the skirt of the hill is probably a talus breccia. So next time you see a breccia with a whole bunch of angular fragments and some nice sexy looking infill, you can't automatically assume that it's a hydrothermal breccia. If it's got all the same type of fragments and those fragments are all flow banded rhyolite, you have to consider the possibility that it might be a talus breccia. But that doesn't matter, they can still be ore. Breccias are good.